Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan, Nick's behind the camera, and today we're going to show you how to build this DIY leopard gecko rack. Let's go! Okay, so now we just want to add some ventilation. So I don't know where the what these are called, but they're these things, just little vents. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of trace the smaller circle onto here, so then I know which how to use our soldering iron about the size, because it should, if all goes to plan, just clip right in there. Um, so we're gonna have one of these on the front, and then over here on the sides, we're just gonna poke four holes on each side to get that cross vent. sides because first we did off to the side because the middle is kind of like bumpy like this like it's raised and so I didn't think that they'd sit in there quite as nicely and it wouldn't be a perfect feel around um, so I want to do it on just a smooth plastic and then we alternate sides a because we think it looks more appealing to be like thanks smoky <laughs> like alternating and then um, ideally we would have it both uh, one on each side but we can't do anything because we're in quarantine right now so we're just alternating it for now maybe later we'll go in and add a circle yes louie we hear you and don't worry we do have our little sidekicks with us they're in their little outside playground thing and they're loving it and they're getting some fresh air isn't that right cooper right cooper So this is what the finished rack looks like. The bigger one's just right here on the bottom and it looks the same. So as you can see, our vents clipped in nice, um, just pulling right now. They won't come out, so those clipped in really well. And then over here, we have holes. We wanted them at the top just so nothing, no tails can get in there, no feet can get in there, um, just to get more ventilation. Now that we have uh, the two racks on top of each other. One issue that Megan pointed out was, hey Nick, they slide. And I said, wow, you're right. So how are we gonna handle that? Well, 
we're gonna put electrical tape. So this will hold it in good enough to where I'm not just gonna be yanking on it willy-nilly. And then second thing is, it can handle the heat, which I was worried about duct tape maybe becoming a little less adhesive over time because of the heat it's subjected to. So I know this can handle it and I know it'll be a good little temporary setup. Okay, so now that we went ahead and we cut all the holes we needed for our ventilation. We, we did that. <laughs> so, yeah. so now that we've done that, what we need to do now is we need to put in the heat tape, right? Because leopard geckos need heat to survive. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we got this heat tape. We ordered it online from uh, Reptile Basics, actually. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put this on the back of our racks. And then we're going to use what Megan has here, this electric tape, which is rated for 176 degrees, which is which you're never going to be that hot anyway, so it's going to be okay. It'll work. So that's what we're going to do now. When you're doing this, one thing that's very important is make sure you cut on the white or the clear, the see-through part. Do not cut on the black, okay? Cut on the white. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of what that looks like right now. See, so you just come through right here. And just like that. Okay, so this is our final product. As you can see, we went a little heavy on the tape, um, but I always just think it's better to do that the first time than to have to go through and make repairs. So as you can see, we taped it right across and then on each end just to add that extra stability. So now all we have left is to attach our thermostat. Okay, so for thermostat wise, we're gonna be using what's called a jump start thermostat. And the only reason I'm using this is because one, it's rated for what I need to do, and also it's what I had laying around because I can't really go get new things right now. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the probe, and what I'm gonna do is I'll actually end up putting it like closer to where this is because you don't wanna put it on the heat tape. If you put it directly on the heat tape, you're never gonna get the desired temperature you actually want. So, I'm gonna put it as close to where this thing will be all the way shut and close to the heat tape still. That way I get my desired temperature. All right, so as you can see, we put it right against the bin. That way when the bin hits about 90, this should be 90. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned how to do a DIY leopard gecko rack on your own that is both cheap and efficient. Yeah, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video so you can watch who we put inside of our new rack. Stay safe and stay positive. See you guys next time.